often has the stress in your life been related to a messy environment or disorganized home? Did you know that your mood is affected by your surroundings? According to the Centers for Disease Control, 80% of our medical expenditures are stress-related. 80%! Well, here's one of the biggest contributors of stress. The mess! I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to invite you to clean and declutter with me so you get motivated to get organized. Why? Because one of the most life-changing, therapeutic, peace-producing tasks you can pursue is to create a clutter-free environment around you. In fact, listen to these statistics. 90% of Americans say disorganization at work or home has a negative impact on their lives. 65% say clutter affects their state of mind. 53% say it reduces motivation, and 40% say it leaves them feeling unhappy. Well, I'm here to cheer you on and give you the tools to live your dreams, and believe it or not, getting your surroundings in order is a huge part of the preparation for success. Here's why. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. So if your house is a mess, your future business could be a mess. If you can't get your bathroom in order, how are you going to get a company in order? Now, I'm just telling you what the Lord dealt with me about years ago. In fact, my first directive from the Lord back in 2002 wasn't, you know, to write books, to impact teenage girls in safe houses, or start a women's conference and call it icing. No, my first piece of brilliant advice was clean up your house. But you know what? It proved to be the most beneficial piece of advice I could have ever gotten. It prepared me for what I'm doing today. In fact, I wrote an entire book called Declutter Your Way to Success, and I'm giving it away this week absolutely free. You only pay for the shipping to get it to your house, but this is my gift to you to help you get that peace that leads to a promotion by getting organized. So all you have to do is subscribe by pushing that little red arrow and click the link in the description to get your free book shipped today. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be amazed to learn the benefits of decluttering and organizing. Get this, organizing experts have even reported that their clients have lost weight, ended toxic relationships, left unhealthy jobs, and stopped bad habits once they decluttered their lives. Isn't that amazing? So clearing your space clears up your mind as well. So where do we start? Well, I want you to follow this checklist as a guideline. Number one is write the vision. See, before you get started, make a plan. Focus on one room only and begin making a list of every single thing that needs to be done in that room alone. You know, it can be as menial, menial as writing master bedroom. Doesn't have to be this big. <laughs> but what you do is you make a list and you start writing everything that needs to be done. It could be things like this. You know, clean up the nightstand, put away clothing on the chair, wash the bedding, clean under the bed, put the shoes in the closet, hang the coat, trash the newspapers, remove the pile of books, you know, clean off the nightstand, vacuum the floor, open the curtains. So now you might think you're finished, but let's keep going. It could be wash the sheets, organize each drawer in the dresser, declutter the nightstand, which we mentioned that, clean it up, declutter what's inside of it, empty the trash. Go ahead and list the things that only you know need to be organized and cleaned up. It is so motivating to check off your list and see how much you've truly accomplished. Number two is you start with one room. Now, how do you know which room to start with, decluttering and organizing? It's simple. You start with the room you spend the most time in. Now you need this constant reminder of completion and accomplishment. So attack it first. And the more you clear out some space, the more motivated you become to keep going. It could be the kitchen. You know, if that's where the family seems to congregate the most, eat meals, do homework, visit, and all that stuff, then start with that room. Don't select the guest bedroom that you hardly ever visit or the garage that stays closed and never used. You need to see your progress immediately so you stay motivated to make significant progress in the room you visit the most. Number three, 
Start with what's visible. See, before you begin cleaning out the refrigerator, the kitchen pantry, or the spice rack, always begin with the clutter that can be seen. So if you decided to start organizing your kitchen, then start by loading the dishes piled up in the sink. Put them in the dishwasher. Place all the food that's left on the counter, put it back in the pantry or the refrigerator. Wipe off the countertops. Place that pile of bills in the home office or in a bin that's labeled bills. Take the shoes to the closet and leave them there. Don't start organizing the closet. Go back to the kitchen and stay focused on that room only. Put the car keys on a hook in a consistent place. Hang jackets in the coat closet. Clear off all visible messes first and foremost, then go deeper. Clean out the refrigerator and the pantry. Organize each drawer and cabinet. Number four, designate a category for each item. Now what you do is you use these four categories to sort your stuff. Trash, give, keep, or sell. Now as you set out to declutter each room, Locate four boxes or large trash bags and designate one of these four categories. This is gonna help you make decisions for every single item. Now don't get too caught up in the sentimental value behind each piece. The goal is to create a sense of tranquility and self-esteem in your surroundings. Now remember, we're after progress. So it could be random items such as Unused kitchen utensils or appliances, tourist mugs, you know, the blender from your wedding 17 years ago, that broken cheese grater, the rusted cookie sheets, the Easter bunny jello molds. <laughs> you get the picture. So how do you decide which category? Number one, mark for trash. So if it's broken, missing a piece or unusable, it's time to dump it. Just get rid of it. It's taken up unnecessary, valuable space and it will benefit you more by being out of your way. If it's outdated, worn out, stretched out, faded, toss it. You know, it could be a broken toaster, old newspapers or gossip magazines from years ago. See, we care about a sense of peace in your living space, so just shred it. Number two, mark to give. You know, it is so rewarding to give to someone else. You may have too many of a particular item such as Coats, umbrellas, old phones, shoes, jewelry, dishes, Tupperware. Just think about it. You could be a tremendous blessing by donating these items to someone in need. And remember, God always rewards a generous heart. So proactively look for opportunities to be a blessing to someone else by seeking out items to give away and clear up some much needed space in the process. You know, I recently gave away large bags full of clothes to a local safe house. And it felt so good knowing that these precious girls were so excited to receive these clothes. Number three, mark to keep. As you come across items, ask yourself, when was the last time you used this or wore this or needed this item? Now, most organizing experts say, if you come across something you haven't used in the last six to 12 months, you should probably get rid of it. So ask yourself if you really love it. If you absolutely love this thing, then by all means, keep it. If you wonder why you even bought it, move it. Number four, mark to sell. You can really cash in on your clutter. My daughter Cassidy was looking for opportunities to make some extra cash. She began selling some of her clothing, shoes, purses, costume jewelry on an online used clothing site. And I asked her the other day, I said, how much do you think you've made? She went to the site and it tells you exactly what you've made. $11,000. So in my book, let me just mention this real quick. The book we're giving away this week, I share lots more ideas about how to cash in on your clutter or get cash for your trash <laughs> in chapter seven. And be sure and click the link in the description to access your free book this week and learn all the amazing ways that you can make money from your stuff. Now real quick, eBay discovered that the average American has at least $3,100 worth of stuff that you have no need for just laying around your house. Imagine an extra three grand. So get your book right now. Now, once you make the decision which category an item falls into, finish the task. In other words, load up the box marked to give, get it back, you know, put it in the back of your car and donate it as soon as possible. Don't leave it in a corner of the bedroom for another two weeks. 
If it's marked trash, then go ahead and take it to the curb. If you're selling books, load them up in your car immediately and designate a day on your calendar to drop them off at a bookstore. Here's why. You've already done so much work to get organized, so now you need to complete the process by following up immediately. And number five, add the final touch of excellence. See, when you clear out the clutter and get a room in order, don't stop there. Make it excellent. You know, once things are no longer taking up the space, it's time to vacuum, mop, dust, spray, shine the room. You know, I love to finish it off by either lighting a candle or using a plug-in air freshener to give it that look and smell of completion and sparkle. Now, let me point out that we're striving for excellence, not perfection. You know, keeping your environment clean and tidy will help you welcome tranquility. Your life will be less stressed, you'll sleep better, you'll feel more confident, and you'll have more time to work on your dreams and goals. So let me know in the comments if you've sold some of your stuff and made some pretty good money on it. I'd love to hear your progress. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below. And for more inspirational content, click one of the two videos right here. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.